In today's video, we're gonna be exploring what it is that makes the best breeder of a French Bulldog and also give you some pointers in how best to recognize a good breeder from a bad breeder. Welcome back to the Fenrir French Bulldog Show. If this is your first time here, my name's Will. I'm a canine behaviorist and I'm the founder here at FenrirCanineLeaders.com. This channel is dedicated to helping you learn everything you could ever want to know about the amazing French Bulldog. So if you love them as much as we do, start by hitting that subscribe button and turn on the notification bell and you'll never miss a future French Bulldog video. So then, today's video, we'll be looking at the most crucial aspects as to what makes the best French Bulldog breeder. First of all, we need to establish what it is that makes a good, reputable Frenchie breeder. They should be rife with knowledge about the whole process, start to finish. But we'll stick to the key points in this video. A sound knowledge of the breed itself is paramount to producing healthy puppies. You should be able to ask your breeder any query or concern you have about the French Bulldog and get a confident, informative and correct answer. And even if they don't know, they should show willingness to find that out for you. Now, alongside a keen interest in the breed itself, a reputable breeder should have a basic knowledge of their genetics and the breed standards. And when I say basic, I mean basic. No crossbreeding of family members should have occurred. This can be a typical path that backstreet breeders will take. They will breed granddaughter with grandfather, uncles with nieces, etc., etc., if they think it will produce more rare colored puppies, such as blue merles, which isn't a recognition nice French Bulldog colour and don't buy into the rare label. A responsible breeder will never breed simply for a desirable colour. Blue Mill Frenchies have an extremely high chance of being blind, deaf or having other neurological issues due to being inbred. Some respectable breeders even go so far as to not selling puppies that are Merle or Lilac because they know there's a chance that the puppy carries bad genetics. Now, in recent times, the breed standard of the French Bulldog has come under some scrutiny. The most serious medical and physiological issues that arise from a Frenchie comes from their breed standard of that short muzzle. Again, backstreet breeders are likely to capitalise on this. So rather than hunting for a Frenchie with the squishiest face, no matter how cute they are as puppies, you want to be looking for a lengthened muzzle that help to prevent common health issues. Now, the best way to do that is to breed together French Bulldogs with exceptionally long noses to increase the chances that their puppies can live healthier, happier, and more comfortable lives. Some French Bulldog breeders have even started to crossbreed. The introduction of a completely new set of genetic information, including that of a long muzzle, is key to curbing the ailments of the Frenchie and hopefully see them thrive for decades to come. Hey guys, sorry to interrupt the video. I just wanted to quickly let you know, if you didn't know already, I have a completely free course on the principles of canine behavior. As a canine behaviorist, I've put this together with my years of experience, skill set, and knowledge to help you understand all the areas of canine behavior that are important for you to become a high level canine leader. And then you can fix your dog's problem behaviors at home, or maybe take the first steps into working with dogs with problem behaviors. So again, if you want to check out that course, it's completely free of charge. The principles of canine behavior, there'll be a link down in the description box below, and I can't wait to see you over on that course. You also want a breeder that is aware and conscious of these health concerns. Anyone that shies away from it or brushes it off are more than likely not really bothered about the topic. As humans, we are gifted with a gut instinct. Should you feel uneasy about a breeder, it is always best to walk away. You want to have 100% confidence in who you are dealing with and that they are concerned with more than just the money that you're going to be handing over, which for French Bulldog is going to be a substantial amount. Another key subject you should be aware of is your puppy's parents. Seeing your Frenchie's pup with its siblings and their mum is arguably one of the most important aspects of buying a puppy. If you are able to see your new puppy in the whelping box it was born in, eagerly suckling, groomed and fussed by mum, chances are that they were bred ethically. Backstreet breeders will breed on volume, taking very little care of the bitch. They even go so far as having show bitches. A show bitch will not necessarily be used for breeding, 
everything w but will be healthy, clean and friendly. They will then take a litter of puppies from the biological mum and transport them to a separate home to show them to prospective buyers alongside the show bitch. This gives the impression that it's a perfect family of happy, clean, healthy dogs. But there are clues to spot this. A show bitch won't show a keen interest in the pups. She will also be unlikely to let them suckle or won't even be lactating. In short, it's a big theatrical performance that you need to be aware of. Now then, let's say you've researched and located a reputable breeder that will give you a lively, adorable Frenchie pup. You have to be able to give them the best home. Again, in the early stages, it's best to ask a reputable breeder who they think the breed is perfect for. They will know the breed inside and out, meaning they can make sure suitable homes are found. French Bulldogs are small, friendly, affectionate and have relatively long lives. Now, these all sound like good traits, but only in the right environment. A French Bulldog is not for you if you have to leave them alone for long periods of time, if you're precious about sharing the sofa with a dog or are expecting a baby at the same time. Looking after a newborn and a new puppy is a mammoth task, no matter how small or cute the dog is. As much as you might prefer one breed over another, you have to be somewhat objective when looking at your suitability. If you have an outdoorsy job that allows for a four-legged co-worker, a bigger, more independent breed may be more suited for you. However, if you can spend the majority of time with your Frenchie and enjoy leisurely strolls through the parks and country roads, they may just be the best companion you've ever dreamed of. So I hope you found that information valuable, educational, or at least enjoyable. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and turn on that notification bell as we've got two new French Bulldog videos coming to this channel every single week. And we can't wait to see you on the next episode of the Fenrir French Bulldog Show.